uh, back at Hilltop Hatcheries, Corey PA, picking up 200 perch to stock in uh, the two ponds. So these are perch. There's roughly there's 50 in the ba each bag. I got 200. I'm gonna put 100 in each pond. Really nice day fall day it finally warmed up again we had snow we got like two inches of snow the other day um, but now we're back to 70 so it's nice clear day the ponds are nice they're pretty clear I was it's gonna put the fish in right here I mean I still could there's a lot of leaf cover on top of the water from the wind blowing I might put them in down farther we'll see the water's real clear now cuz Temperatures have been cooling off. Um, the water always seems to be real clear in the spring and in the fall. Summer it gets a little dirty looking. Probably from all the algae. Carp do a really good job of keeping our pond clear of algae and stuff on top of the water. Some of our neighbor ponds around here are green. But our pond, both of our ponds, upper and lower, stay pretty clean all year. And there's some giant carp in here, probably about, I don't know, 15 in each pond. They're like two feet, but they help out a lot. So if you have a lot of algae in your ponds, I definitely recommend you get some grass carp. I'll look up the recommended amount, but probably six or so at least. I know the water that these fish were in, he told me is about 54 degrees. I just put 50 trout in here. As you can see right here, uh, the water's probably only about four feet deep right here uh i guess the thermometer i thought it was er, in the water but maybe it's not so this pond's roughly an acre the upper pond's probably an acre and a half this one's much deeper the upper pond so we had somebody dive in here they had a dive watch on they said it's 50 feet out in the middle i think that's really deep for a pond this size here but possibly so i put trout in this pond I put 50 trout in this pond uh, in the spring, and I put 50 trout, sorry about the wind noise. I put 50 trout in this pond a couple weeks ago. And then I've, I put fathead minnows in also a couple times a year. Um, this is only 100 perch. I've been putting black crappie in. So I just order some every so often and put some in. This is the first time I've put perch in, but they're a good farm pond fish. The only other fish I want to put in here, we have largemouth, and we have uh, we have largemouth. We have a lot of bluegill. I want to put, um, and we have black crappie now. Uh, I'd like to catch some smallmouth and put them in both ponds. So I have the fish in the water getting acclimated. I'm gonna let them sit in the bag in there for about 20 minutes. Let the they let their water start to match the water of the pond. I'm going to uh, take some, take the other two up to the upper pond and do the same thing. And here we are at the upper pond, much shallower. This pond is probably an acre and a half. It goes back around there. It goes over an overflow into the lower pond. And uh, yeah, this pond, it might be 10, 12 feet deep in the deepest area. There are carp in here also. This pond also does not get all covered over with, uh, with any kind of 
algae or nasty uh, green stuff. But uh, same thing, we put black crappie in here, there's bass in here, um, bluegill. No trout in this one because it's too shallow, I feel. I don't think they'll be able to survive when it warms up in the summer as well anyways as the lower pond that's deeper. Uh, you can see it's so clear right now, so you can see the leaves collecting on the bottom. So my, my method of keeping these bags from blowing away or floating out. I just take these plastic chairs, flip them over, and use the back of the chair to uh, keep the bags against the shoreline. This tree here, although still alive, other than a couple branches, it's actually still looks pretty healthy up high. It's going to come down before too long. I don't know if it's a bug that's tearing it up, but the whole bottom's rotten now. It looks like maybe maybe carpenter ants. If you look right there, you can see the holes. But yeah, they're destroying this tree. You can see clear through it there. Just a matter of time before it comes down. I'm hoping it doesn't go out into the water, but if it does, I can just put a chain around it and drag it up on shore with a tractor. We'll turn it into a firewood tree. All right. I'm going to put these fish in the water now. So I paid uh, two fifty a fish, so five hundred dollars in fish here. Uh, hundred fish in each pond. Hopefully they reproduce and make it, and uh, we get a nice uh, variety of fish in these ponds if we ever need to. Uh, with the economy and everything, we could always uh, come down here and catch fish and and have another source of food. Alrighty, now I'm going to release these fish. that this fella got a little damaged I hope that he makes it but he's got a pretty nasty wound but some of them will let me pick them up I don't see any right at the moment that dude let me pick them up there's one right here I'll see if I can pick them up well, I touched them but there's some of them are swimming all around good deal hopefully they uh We'll keep throwing them in and hopefully they uh, start producing on their own. I never, 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 I